All right, the next purpose of laying out of hands is to send out apostles. Now, I don't know whether some of you think that there are only 12 apostles in the New Testament. That is not so. I've counted approximately 20 people who were called apostles. There were the 12 foundation apostles. Then there were other apostles who were mentioned by name, and we look at some of them. Now, in Acts 13, it speaks about the church at Antioch, which was in many ways a model church. In fact, in some ways, it got ahead of the church in Jerusalem, which got a little bit stuck in what I would call internal focus. See, that's one of the big problems with our churches today. Most churches are so focused on the internal that they have very little time for the real job, which is preaching the gospel to those who've never heard it. But the people at Antioch had a different vision, and this is very important. Acts 13, beginning at verse 1. Now in the church that was at Antioch, there were certain prophets and teachers, and five of them are named, Barnabas, Simeon, Lucius, Manian, and Saul, who later became Paul. Now, if you can believe for prophets and teachers, then the way is open for apostles. I'll show you how. As they ministered to the Lord, and I think the NIV says, as they worshipped the Lord. So important. I'm going to speak about this later, but worship is the key to so much. As they worshipped the Lord, the Holy Spirit said, Now separate to me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Notice the Holy Spirit was speaking as God. Separate to me these two men. How do you think the Holy Spirit said it? Do you think it was a disembodied voice that came? Or do you think he spoke through some one of the five men? You can make your mind up. I believe personally it was probably a prophetic word. Then, having fasted and prayed, and I am a great believer in fasting and prayer. I don't have time to go into it, but a lot of things in the church will never happen until people learn to fast and pray. Having fa and this was the second time they'd fasted. They were already fasting when they got the message. Having fasted and prayed and laid hands on them, they sent them away. They sent them off. And please note, they didn't choose the junior the youth director, which is what some churches would do. They chose the two top men. They sent out their best. Promotion in the, to the ministry, in the out outreach of the ministry, is from the top, not from the bottom. And there again, the church has a tremendous lesson today to learn. The people who are, quote, missionaries, or whatever you want to call them, are not somebody with a, a minor ministry somewhere down the line. They should be the top people that are chosen by God. But we have got an altogether wrong emphasis on our internal structure. And we are so absorbed with ourselves that we really don't have the vision of the Lord. I don't know if you'll forgive me for saying this, but I say that many people in the current move of the Holy Spirit in some countries are like the astronomers in the, day of, in the days of Ptolemy. If you know a little bit about astronomy, and I don't know much. But Ptolemy was convinced that the earth revolved around the sun. Along came Copernicus, and he said, that's not right. It's the other way around. The sun revolves around the earth. And typically enough, the church wanted to put the man to death for saying that. He just escaped with his life. But why, why were the church so upset? Because it was contrary to their traditions. Well, I say a lot of Christians are still living in the age of Ptolemy. They still believe that the sun, God, revolves around us. They haven't yet learned it's the other way around. We revolve around the sun. Jesus isn't here for our benefit. We're here for his glory. You can see some of the songs that are sung. They focus entirely on what Jesus will do for me. That's wonderful, but it's less important than what we will do for Jesus. That's where the emphasis is. Anyhow, this church sent out its two best. Now, when these were sent out, they were prophets and teachers. 
But if you read on in the next chapter of Acts, chapter 14, about the same two men, it says at one point the multitude of the city was divided, part sided with the Jews and part with the apostles. And then in verse 14 it says, but when the apostles, Barnabas and Paul, heard this, etc. So they had become apostles. How had they become apostles? By being sent out from a church through the direction of the Holy Spirit. You see, the meaning of the word apostle is one who is sent out. If you've not been sent out, you are not an apostle. So here are two men who are not in the original twelve. Paul and Barnabas are now called apostles. How did they become apostles? By the appointment of the Holy Spirit. How did they hear the voice of the Holy Spirit? They were praying, fasting and worshipping God. And when the church leadership does that, then we will see apostles emerging.